Hello guys, welcome back to Wellingham Sauce and Nest, and today we are on Gary's Mod, and I am showing you a TARDIS mod, and this TARDIS mod is compatible with your Sonic Screwdriver mod. Okay, Hello? Oh. There we go. So it's the TARDIS mod. Quick Ian, it teleports you in. And this is the console room. You can't change the console room. So this, so I'll show you how to play it. This turns on and off the power. This, when you're flying, it spins and it, and if you click E on it, it will, um, it will change the direction your TARDIS is spinning in. This is the space time throttle weaver. Once you have your destination set, you hit that, and you travel to it. This is the fast return weaver. If you hit it, you will um, deterioration into the um, place you first found the TARDIS into. This is the long toggle flight weaver. This is the time rotor handbrake. The Liberty weaver is how you walk it. And then this is flight mode. If you turn on flight mode and press E where there's no buttons on the console, you can fly the TARDIS around. Now when you're now when you're the pilot pilot and flying the TARDIS around, if you press R, it will turn and turn on um, the flight mode. In case you don't know how to do that. And then, if you click, um, right click, it will turn you invisible. Right click again, turn you on invisible. Then left click is the deterioration. Now wherever you aim then click is where you're going to deterioration for that. See? Okay, perfect. So this is the program of flight mode. So if you save your destination, like if I put new, and then type in home, you can call it any way you want. Yes. Then it will be right there. So if we exit out, And fly away. Hey. Okay. Like, fly away. We. We can go here. We can press home. Then we can go upload. And what well, that will do is set your destination. And then you can click this. And then the TARDIS will start the tyrannizing. And as you can see on the monitor, it changes every time you tyrannize. Yep. This is the monitor. Right. So with the monitor, you can move it around, and if you press right click, you zoom in. Left click is set the de destination. Once you set the destination, you you can press the deterioration lever, and you can deterioration there. Now, if you notice on the monitor. It changes every time you do termize. And we de -termize.
Then if we press the hot, um, if we press this, we'll go back to where we spawned in the TARDIS. See, we spawned it in right here, so we're determinizing right here. This will play any type of your favorite song. The rooms don't go anywhere yet, but yeah. The TARDIS has some nice details. Sorry guys, this was a short video. I wish I could have made it longer, but I kind of blew through the details very quickly. Okay, since this video was only six minutes long, I am actually going to do a, another mod showcase. So that was the TARDIS mod. Now, it's time for the scariest mod ever. The Leaping Angel mod. So the Weeping Angels don't come with the TARDIS, but you can get the Weeping Angels mod. So if you walk away... The Weeping Angels will actually come after you. So see how there's two? Like that? If I walk away? Yep, they move. If you... If you lift quick... Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh crap, they killed me. Okay. Yep, that's basically all for the Weeping Angel mod. The Weeping Ma Angel mod is simple. They kill you. But yeah, here's the details on the Weeping Angel mod. Yep. Oh, and if you're running, da David doesn't have Gary's mods, but if he did, I would play with him. Oh, and if you haven't seen the videos yet of me and, me and uh, David wandering uh, around the Roblox TARDIS, please go get them. Yep, so I see you guys all later. Goodbye! Do not blink.